please put your hands together to welcome our very special guest, Professor Peter Higgs. <laughs> Professor Higgs, welcome to the Science Museum. You've had a sneak preview of the exhibition this morning. Uh, did it feel like CERN to you? Uh, yeah, yes, it, it did. It, it gave the, the right, it, it had the right feel for CERN. Um, uh, I mean, the, the, the uh, you know, the, the slightly dirty walls on, on, on the tunnel and the scruffy corridors between the offices. That's just like saying. <laughs> the only uh, th thing which was surprising in the exhibition was to find all, all these pieces so close together. Uh, I'm Eloise from Man's Head School. And my question is, who is your hero in the world of science? Who is your hero in the world of science? I suppose in in my school days this was probably probably Paul Dirac because I mean he he'd been a former pupil, um, but but of course I also uh, learned learned a lot about uh, previous people, particularly in theoretical physics like like Einstein, who was one of Paul Dirac's heroes, and uh, also James Clerk Max, Maxwell before him. What thoughts went through your head when your original paper was rejected and they sent back saying of no obvious rele relevance to physics? Uh, well, the, 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 um, the, the remark about no obvious rele relevance to physics uh, didn't come with the re rejection. It, that, that was reported to me by a colleague with whom I shared an office who'd gone to CERN uh, to spend a month in the summer while I was writing these papers. When it, and when he came, came, came back, he explained to me that when my papers arrived, they, they would have 